Welcome back to We're Having Fun, the podcast where we're having fun, and it's me, I'm Mark. Hello! Wow. Um, hi. <laughs> hi. I'm, I'm Krista. Or should I say aloha? Oh! <laughs> Why'd you we're, say goodbye? We're not in Hawaii, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, filming on location. <laughs> So I wish. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, we are here, here, here. <sighs> um, what's up, dog? <laughs> uh, I mean, he's he's having a good day. He's he <laughs> he's laid down with his head on my lap. Little dog, just yeah. chilling. Oh, having a good one. So yeah, if I just like suddenly start going. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> during this, it's probably because he's doing something real cute. Because he's so cute. Mm-hmm. Or, and if you hear heavy breathing, it's probably also him. <laughs> or me. <laughs> Who knows? Could be anybody, honestly. All this talking gets me out of breath. So, what's up? Anything going on in the world we need to talk about? I don't think so. <laughs> Not that I can. No recall. new news. No new no. news. Not really. Okay. I mean, they did. Well, okay. So last week we did. We recorded before the Super Bowl. We did. So there were some commercials that some new commercials oh, or yeah. new previews. So there, there were a preview for Doctor Strange. There was a preview for Doctor Strange. I saw a lot of stuff. Very confused by it. I'm not sure what's going no. on. <laughs> no. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> There's the council. People think Patrick Stewart's in it. Uh huh. Maybe he is. Not when really. I heard it, I couldn't tell if it was his voice or not. Yeah, because some people were like, oh, I would know his voice anywhere. I'm like, I thought I would too. And it didn't sound like it him. It didn't but sound right. Know. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, it'd be it'd be cool if he's in it. Yeah. But what role does he play? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, we have one in mind. But he's <laughs> we would assume. Played, yeah. But. but you never know. Maybe yeah. they recast him as somebody else. Who knows? As, as Dr. Dong. Ding dong. What's his name? I think it might. Oh, Bong. It's Bong. I'm like, Dr. Dong? <laughs> well, he's a bell. He, he rings like a bell. It's real oh, bad. Geez. It's a dumb villain. I don't know. Dr. <sighs> Bong. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Were there any other ones? Oh, um, the it's probably not something that we're going to cover, but there's a new Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Um, although it's technically not, it doesn't take place during the Lord of the Rings. It takes, takes place before. Yeah. Um, but it's like a Tolkien kind of thing. It looks pretty thing. cool. Yeah. So yeah. it'll be on Amazon. So I guess I'll have to get Amazon. Get Amazon. Maybe we can talk about it. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know. I know that, um, like... Galadriel and Elrond are both in it. Elrond young, Hubbard, yeah. Young versions, no. No? No. Oh. Elrond half-elven. But, oh. Yeah, I could see where you would get confused. Yeah, <laughs> I get them mixed up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a real big Lord of the Rings fan, so. You are. So and I like it, but I'm not as yeah. deep as you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, I've read, like, of course, I've read The Hobbit and The uh-huh. Lord of the Rings, uh-huh. but I've also read The Silmarillion. Oh. I've read, like, The Book of Lost Tales. I've wow. read, like, all of the stuff, or not all of the stuff, but a lot of the books that are, like, taken from his journals and yeah. from, like, the draft copies and everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I got really into The Lord of the Rings when I was in college. Sounds so. like it. <laughs> But it's a, it's a fun little thing. Yeah. That's cool. So, I'm, so you're looking forward to that? I am definitely looking forward to it. Nice. Plus there's going to be like a dwarf queen or princess or something. And mm. Is it going to cover neat. anything that you read? Like, I don't, Or is it just completely new stuff? I don't know. Oh, okay. Because they haven't really said. Yeah. But I guess Who I knows? won't really know till I watch it. When's it come out, Dina? September. Oh, so a while. <laughs> right in time for my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Here's your Lord of the Rings, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Here's the rings of power for you. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Apparently, he's like a really big Lord of the Rings nerd, too. Is he? And so he's like really excited about it. And uh, everybody's like, okay, but you're you're like the, the worst bad guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the story. I, I just love Sauron. I think he's so great. <laughs> I think he's so just great. Just, he's such a hero. Just monopolizing everything. You know? <laughs> he's, a, he's a hero of mine. Personal hero. Like, I just, mm. If I could just have a bunch of uruk I you know, I feel like we could operate easier. <sighs> Like Jeff, <laughs> buddy, I think you're taking the wrong messages from this. <laughs> I just 
want my workers to find their inner orcs. Oh, <laughs> Where there's a whip, there's a way. <laughs> there you go. Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Bezos. If you want to sponsor us, we'll take your money. <laughs> <laughs> Was there any other... Were there any other stuff? We missed we missed a little bit of it because we were cooking up food. Yeah, because we were making our snacks. So we might have missed a little bit. But I guess the next thing is Moon Knight mm-hmm. in March. Yep. So, yeah. Exciting. So, when does Doctor Strange come out? Is it in March? I do I not know. <laughs> I feel like I just looked it up, too. Now I gotta look it up. Um, It's supposed to be what I have in May 6th. Yeah. Dang. So far away. Yeah. So we have to wait on that, but then yeah, we have Moon Knight, mm-hmm. and then Doctor Strange, mm-hmm. and then and then right after Doctor Strange, like a couple of weeks after that, it'll be uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi Wan, so. yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. It's just taking its sweet time. Mm-hmm. So I guess we should talk about Book of Boba. F- oh wait, no, about uh, uh, what if? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Hawkeye. Oh, we got oh, we got nothing. Yeah, we don't have any um, any TV yeah. shows to cover today. We just have to talk about the regular stuff. You act like we've never had to do this before. <laughs> this is completely new territory. No, it's not. We have never been in this situation. No, but usually when we when we only have a movie or a one big thing to cover, it becomes a very long, yeah. drawn out it's a episode. Lot to talk about. Yeah. Because I think like when we did Harry Potter, mm-hmm. when we did yeah. <laughs> Skyrim, they, those were some pretty long episodes. It's true. Yeah. But this one's going to be probably pretty short. Probably. So. Yeah. Unless we just start arguing about Elvis or something. I know you have a lot of strong opinions. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I do not. You, you call yourself a hound dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, that must be somebody else. So I have been, I have been to his birthplace though. So. Oh, have you? Mm-hmm. Is it is is it worth going to? He he was born in like like a one room shack kind of thing. It's oh, it's you didn't really, go to Graceland. That's not his birthplace. I don't know. That's just a building that he a mansion that he like either had built or bought. I don't yeah. know exactly. I've never been to Graceland. I've seen it. I've like drove. I drove by the gates. Oh, did you? That's pretty much it. And you were like, hi. I was like, hi, I know you don't live there, Elvis, but hi anyway. <laughs> He's still alive, don't you know? He's still alive <laughs> well, and he, he waved is, at you. Maybe he did. Maybe he did wave. <laughs> so how's that shack? Pretty nice shack? Sweet shack? Love shack? Baby? Sure. I mean, it's been a while since I saw it, so. <laughs> well. It was a shack. It was a shack. Okay. It was just wooden. Okay. Wooden shack, from what I can remember. Like I said, it's been like... Sounds fun. 15 years or 20 years. I don't know how long. It's been a long time. Two when you saw it? (laughs) Why do you do this? I just don't want to know what our ages are. So, uh, yeah, we're watching today Lilo and Stitch. Yes. Which I've been on a mission to watch all of the animated Disney movies yes. for like a year or two now. It's, it's been a while. It's like two years because you started it when Disney Plus came out. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's just there's been some in there that's just have taken me a bit of time. Yeah, because, I mean, you were doing really well in the beginning. Uh-huh. And well, because of like lockdown, yeah, when I had like nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. And then it got to the point where I was like, oh, and I wasn't living here either, so I was just like yeah. by myself in lockdown. True. <laughs> what else was I gonna do? And then, and then it got to the point where I was like, I don't want to watch any of these. <laughs> I don't because it got to the point after like two thousand or whatever. It was like, yeah. ooh, this is. We got to like, the bad ones. Yeah. These aren't the best because they have oh. like, there are several different eras of Disney movies. So like yeah. you start off with like, you've got the golden era. And yeah. then at one point you have like the silver era. And then you have like the, platinum the dark era. ages. Oh. And then you Is that have, when the Black Cauldron was? Yes. Oh gosh, that was a bad time. Yes. That took me a while to get through. But the Black Cauldron was like sandwiched in between Fox and the Hound and the Great Mouse Detective. And those yeah. were both pretty fun. They are. I, yeah, they are. But then you have the Renaissance. And that's where like all the stuff that came out when I was a little Yeah, girl. all the ones I've seen a lot yeah. and remember. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then now we're in the post-Renaissance. Ugh, and it's so bad. <sighs> yeah. Except maybe Lilo and Stitch. We'll see. We'll see yeah. how I feel about it. But it's, it's just... taken us like a year to get... 
Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure when I went to see you last... Sometime last year, uh-huh. we were... We watched Fantasia 2000. Oh, gosh. And Dinosaur. I hate Fantasia. And what? And Dinosaur. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, we, it was a rough time. And then it took us forever just to watch Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. Which was good. It I was liked a fun Emperor's one. New Groove, yeah. But then there was Atlantis after uh, that. I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but I didn't want to. And I, I, I was looking forward to Lilo and Stitch, yeah. so that's good. But then now we got... Treasure Planet and Brother Bear, Home on the Rain, Chicken Little. I don't want these. I don't <laughs> want to watch these movies. And then Meet the Robinsons, which yeah, you've already seen. which I've seen and it's fine. And then Bolt. <laughs> I don't want to watch Bolt. But then we get to the to the revival. Yeah. And you get, like, Princess and the Frog and Tangled. And yeah, I'm looking like forward that. to those. But, man, these... I just don't care. <laughs> Ugh, there's no excitement. Yeah. So I'm going to have to trudge through these. Mm-hmm. Eventually get to the other ones. So maybe in a couple of years I'll finally get to Princess and the Frog. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, this week is Lilo and Stitch. Uh, I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've seen it. I've seen clips of it and stuff. But, and really, my main uh, experience with Lilo and Stitch was in Kingdom Hearts 2, I think. Because you had to, like, get a bunch of money or orbs or something something from these enemies. And the way to do that is you summon Stitch. Mm -hmm. And he plays his ukulele. And it creates a bunch of the money or whatever it was I was collecting at that time. So I would just keep summoning him over and over and over again. So I had to watch Stitch just... He comes on the screen. He's like, ah! And then (laughs) he gets his ukulele and starts playing. The big question is, if he when he's playing his ukulele, is he playing Elvis? The songs, or is he just playing? No, I don't think they license an Elvis well, song for the what's game. What's the point? <laughs> Sadly, I don't. You know, they really messed up there. <laughs> I don't remember what he's playing. He was just playing some ukulele strings. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was my biggest experience with Lilo and Stitch at the time. He's playing that ukulele music that people use in their vlogs all the time. <laughs> Which I forget. One? I forget what it's called. I forget how it goes. But there's this one ukulele song Is it from that people. SpongeBob? No, it's just it's like a free music kind of thing that you can oh. put in in like YouTube videos. Oh, I don't know. And it's just like there are so many that have the same the same one. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can find it. Was, it. it was over the rainbow. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's called like Happy Something. It's Happy Bufferell. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a famous song. It's just a random kind of thing. Yeah. So I had uh, different expectations going into this movie, honestly. Mm -hmm. This movie kind of took me by surprise. Because all I've seen of Stitch is that he's a cute little character dancing with Lilo all the time. Mm -hmm. Having a good time. But that may not be the case. He might be a little troublemaker. (laughs) So yeah, I guess... When was your first time seeing this movie? Did you see it when it came out? Yes. Oh. (laughs) I (laughs) I don't know what year that was. 1492. Was it like 2002, I think? Um, 2003? Okay. Maybe? I'm not sure. Pretty I mean, close. Uh, let's see. Lilo and Stitch. When did it? Lilo. Like 2002. It was 2002. Oh, okay. So, yeah. You were living it up. I was in college. In college. Living it up in college going to watch Disney movies. There you go. That's the way to do it. And, yeah. So, what'd you think when you first saw it? I liked it. Big fan? Mm-hmm. I thought it was really cute. Nice. That's good. The animation in this one is a little bit different than the other. I was telling you, there are no, like, there aren't really any sharp edges. Like, yeah. It, everybody's kind of rounded. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of Samoan. I, I, I like, I liked the different body types. Mm-hmm. It was, it was good. Everybody was thick. Yeah, right. Thick. Yeah. Even, like, <laughs> the main, like, her sister, mm-hmm. like, she's not, like, washboard abs. You know, no, she's got she's, a little pouch, little, little pooch there. She's very pear shaped, too. Very, yeah. She got some thick legs, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, um, she can do some squats, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. It's just cool to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like. I like that animation. So yeah, do we want to get into the story? Yeah, I guess we should. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we've wasted enough time. Yeah, can move along. So it starts off. They are at. Um, they're at the United Galactic Federation. Yeah. And there's a trial going on. Yep. Doctor Jumba is on trial. He is. And he is this big fat guy with 
four, four eyes. eyes. <laughs> yeah. He's real weird looking. Real nerd with four eyes. Huh? <laughs> he has kind of like a Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird, but yeah. a weird choice, but okay. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that it's David Ogden Steers, too. I think it's the guy who did the voice of Coxworth. Oh, okay. I but didn't recognize him. <laughs> I think that's who it was. Because he does several voices in Disney cartoons. Because he was also Governor Radcliffe in Pocahontas. Okay. He's been in several different ones. I think that's who it was. And he is on trial because he has been creating experiments. Yeah. And Rhymes of genetic experimentation. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting into the dark arts. And um, and he's like, what? No, I haven't been making experiments. <laughs> I haven't been experimenting on things. And so they open up like a cage and there's Stitch. Yeah. And he's just going crazy. And he's yeah. like, oh, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I could see how you would think that um, I was doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Stitch is actually Experiment 626. Mm -hmm. So, that means he's done, like, several before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Yeah. Um, and he, they say, like, all these things that Stitch is. So, he's, like, he's basically indestructible. He's, like, really strong. Because really he can yeah. pick up, like, 20,000 times his yeah, weight or something like that. Yeah, it was, like, a like, ridiculous like, amount of weight. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... The only thing is he doesn't like water. Yeah. So that's pretty much all. His body density yeah. can't deal with water. Yeah. So. But other than that, he's he's really strong and his his whole thing is just destruction. He just wants to destroy mm -hmm. things. Yeah. He's supposed to like want to destroy cities yeah. and stuff. Big that's cities. his prime directive. Mm -hmm. His prime directive is destruction. Yeah. And they're like, well, Experiment 66, do you have anything to say for yourself? And he says something. And yeah. It's like in, in a different language. language. And, yeah. And then, like, they all start just like, <laughs> oh, my God, that's terrible. There's, like, this robot that just, like, starts puking gears. It's so bad, whatever was, he said. That was funny. <laughs> So I like they're like a robot throwing up gears. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like, well, um, obviously, Dr. Jumbo is going to go to jail. Yeah. Because he's been doing all these experiments. And Experiment 66 is going to be um, sent to a deserted asteroid. I thought for sure they were going to kill him. No. But no, they're going to exile him. Yep. He's going to be exiled to a deserted asteroid. Mm -hmm. And so they lock him up and everything and start taking him that way. Yeah. The, the, uh, they're... Methods for this are how they've made it this far. I don't know. I don't they know. have guns that are like trained to his DNA. Yes, because they take some of his blood. Yeah. And inject it into the guns, and the guns are like, okay, this is the thing that we have to, if it tries to escape, we have to try to kill it. Mm hmm. But it'll also follow his spit wherever it goes. Because that's part of his DNA. Yeah, but they didn't account for that. Apparently like, not. How has nobody thought of this before? So, yeah, that's basically how he gets out because he starts spinning everywhere. Yep. <laughs> like an insane person. He starts person. shooting doors and yep. everything. And he can just break out of that anyway. Yeah. So he just needed to distract the guns, I guess. I, I guess so. So anyway, he, he gets out. Yeah. And he takes like their uh, their poli police, police cruiser, cruiser kind of thing. Yeah. And they've got like hundreds of other little spaceships chasing after him yeah. and none of them can hit him. Well, the thing is, he's in the red one. Because they say he took the red one. <laughs> so the red one must be special. I guess. And but still, they're right on him. And I think it's special because it's the only one that has like a hyperdrive kind of thing. Yeah. So, of course, he, <laughs> he does the hyperdrive. Yeah. And he gets away. The civilization is dumb. Yeah. So he makes it away from there. And they're like, oh. But he has been oh, no. hit. Yeah, he has been hit, so he, he can't go very far. Yeah. So once he goes out of hyperdrive, wherever he is, that's where he's landed. Mm -hmm. and, and it just so happens to be a little ball called Earth. Called E-R. E-R. <laughs> 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 They're like, what is that? What planet is that? <laughs> so I believe it's called e -Arth. It's like, no, it's Earth. But I can see how you would think that. So they're like, well, we'll just destroy it. <laughs> yeah. And then Pleakley comes up and he's like, no, 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 no. You can't destroy it. Because he's like this little scientist kind of dude. Yeah. Or whatever. And he's like, you can't destroy it because that is, it's protected. That planet is, to, is protected because it has the rare species the mosquito. mosquito. <laughs> so they're like, okay. Okay, fine. And it has humans, which are their main food source. Yeah, exactly. Which doesn't sound right. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that they can bite anything. Yeah. But, uh, but they've been lied to, seems. Yeah. So he's like, you can't destroy it. And so they're like, okay, well, we'll just see where he lands. And they, they're watching it. 
they're mm-hmm. watching where he lands, and the tra- trajectory is going toward like just just ocean, ocean. everywhere, just yep. Pacific Ocean, and, and they're, they're like, like ah, "We're good, we're good." He's gonna hit the water. He's he's gonna die. Yeah, know? so like he can't swim. Problem solved. Yeah, and then it gets it starts like zooming in and getting close, and we're like, "Oh, jeez." <laughs> of course. There is an island. <laughs> so he's going to land in Hawaii. Yeah. And he doesn't land on like one of the main one of the main uh, islands. He yeah. hits like one of the smaller islands that doesn't yeah. have any big cities and stuff. Right. Which comes in kind of later. <laughs> yeah. Comes in handy. Yep. So then since we're going to Hawaii, that's where we, we start off. And that's mm-hmm. where we see like Lilo and Stitch and everything. Yeah. And it starts off. There's some Hawaiian music going on. There's a bunch of people hula dancing. Mm-hmm. And then there's Lilo, and she's swimming around. Yeah, she's on a, having a swim. And she's late for her hula class. For dance, yep. So she eventually does make it there, and she's all she's wet, wet. And she's, like, <laughs> dripping water everywhere. They finish their little dance, and then all the other little Everybody girls falls. fall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they slip in the water. Yep. And he's, like, the teacher or whatever is asking her why she's late. And she's, like, it was sandwich day. and Because she every, <laughs> like, there's a certain day of the week, sandwich yep. day. That she goes to feed Pudge the fish. Mm -hmm. And she's like, and I always take Pudge a peanut butter sandwich. But we didn't (laughs) have any peanut butter. So she asked her sister and her sister said, well, just give him a tuna sandwich. She's like, but I can't give him a tuna sandwich. Do you know what tuna is? (laughs) It's fish. (laughs) So she doesn't want to turn Pudge into a cannibal. It's true. That that would be messed up, man. (laughs) Exactly. So she had to go to the grocery store and buy Mm -hmm. some peanut butter so that she she could feed Pudge, and now she's late. <laughs> like, I really, oh, yeah. I thought Pudge would come into the story. Nope. <laughs> but nope, that's it. That's all we hear about Pudge. That's all we hear about like, Pudge. Oh, okay. And they were in the ocean a lot. They could have had Pudge swim by. Yeah. Nope. 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 <laughs> no Pudge. No Pudge. So anyway, um, he, you know, he gets onto her and everything. And then, oh, somebody, one of the other little girls says something, something to her. And she gets yeah. mad and she starts beating her up yeah and she goes her. off man jeez <laughs> oh, so he's like all right you, you've got to go you can't stay here mm-hmm. <laughs> so he finishes up the lesson and lilo's just sitting outside and he calls nani uh, yeah lilo's sister, sister. she and, didn't want him to call the sister but yeah. he had to so because her parents have both passed yes they died in a car crash mm-hmm. so uh nani is of course in charge of Lilo. Yeah. Because she's like, I guess, 18, 19, something like that. Guess so, yeah. Old enough to take care of her little sister. Right. So, um, she's supposed to be waiting on the steps for Nani to get there and pick her up. But she sees all of the other little girls leaving. And she keeps calling them her friends, even though they're yeah. obviously not her friends. They are terrified of her. <laughs> and they're so mean to her, too. They are, man. So, she goes up to him. She runs after him. And they all have their little dolls and everything. They're about to go play somewhere. And she's like, oh, I want to play with... Are you playing dolls? I want to play too. And they're like, "Mm, you can't play with us. You don't have a doll. And she's like, yeah, I do. And she pulls out this doll that she made herself. And its name is Scrump. (laughs) And she's like, this is Scrump. Her head's a little big. But I just... um, I say it's because bugs went into her brain and (laughs) laid eggs and all this stuff. It's like she has such an active imagination. Yeah. (laughs) But they're just like, yeah, but they're just like, (laughs) you're gross. We don't like you. You can't play with us. Yeah. So she gets, she gets sad and she goes home Uh and she locks the door. She nails the door shut. She nails the door shut. Jeez, man. And then she lays on the floor and listens to Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She's a very old soul, apparently. Yep. But Nani, she tried to pick her up at school. She wasn't there. So Mm -hmm. she's like, oh, got to get home. Make sure, see if she's home. Yep. Because the social worker is coming. Exactly. So Nani runs home. The thing is, she gets home. She runs everywhere. Uh huh. They they have a car. Yeah, they do. They never use <laughs> that car. They never use the car. Yeah. What is with that? Uh, trying to save on gas, you know. Maybe I don't know. If you can walk everywhere, why would you? I guess so. So yeah, on the way while she's running, on the way she almost gets hit by this car. Yeah. And she just kicks it, and she's like, "Stupid head!" Yeah. <laughs> <And> just- <laughs> <laughs> runs off and the guy just kind of looks at her like how dare you kick my car yeah 
So she gets home and she's like, you know, trying to get in. She's like, you've got to let me in because the social worker is on his way here. Mm-hmm. And what will you think? Yeah, we have to have everything perfect so that they'll think that we're the perfect family and everything. Mm-hmm. But of course, she can't get in. Yeah. And here comes the social worker. Yeah. <laughs> and she starts threatening Lilo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Put her in a blender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then uh, she looks, she sees the social worker, and it's the guy whose car she kicked. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Fine. <laughs> so, whoops. Yeah, whoops. Yeah. So, the social worker's super mean, too. Yes. Yeah. He's not representative of social workers. That's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does a lot of stuff wrong. Mm. At least, I mean, it differs state to state. Okay. But. First, he interviews Lilo while the sister's there. So she gets coached. Yeah. But you don't interview with the parent there. Yeah. The parent will coach him. Because Nani is like standing right behind her. Yeah. And trying to act trying everything to out. Act everything out. But it does backfire because she. <laughs> so she disciplines me. Yeah. All the time. Five times a day. And, all this stuff. and he's like. Oh, really? Yeah, with bricks. Bricks. <laughs> bricks in a pillowcase. It's like, oh, jeez. What? Where did she get that? <laughs> I, did she misinterpret something to where she was? Where, where did I, that come from? Well, she was doing, like, Nani was, like, had her fist up. But I don't know what was she, she was, like, what saying that was yes for. or something? I guess so. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but she misinterpreted it. <laughs> it's just awful. Yeah. And this dude just wants to take that kid away, which shouldn't ever be the goal. Like, yeah. Uh, that's You don't want to take the kid away. You want to make it a better spot so that the family can stay together. And that was never his intention, it seems like, <laughs> until like the very end, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, he's 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 a weird one. <laughs> so, um, anyway, the social worker's like, I'll be back in a couple of days to see if you've improved. Yeah, or whatever. which I don't. I don't get that, but whatever. Like three days? Okay. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so anyway, he leaves and she immediately, like, Nani immediately runs after Lilo. Lilo's yeah. just like screaming. Runs <laughs> she didn't days. hear her just screaming outside. Like, so they, yeah. yeah. So they get into a fight and everything. And I one of my favorite parts is when Lilo goes to her room and then Nani is downstairs and they like Nani grabs a pillow and just screams into it and then mm-hmm. it cuts to Lilo in her room and she's screaming into a yeah. pillow too. It's like, oh, that's cute. They're definitely sisters. Yeah. So both frustrated <laughs> sisters. Mm-hmm. So they have their little fight. And then it shows like hours later or whatever, and Nani comes up to bring her some food. And they have a little talk and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, they're talking about how they wish their family wasn't broken or whatever. Yeah. And then they happen to see a shooting star. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Which is actually Stitch. Yeah. Crash Crash landing. landing. (laughs) Yeah. So she makes a wish. She like pushes Nani out of the room and then she makes a wish that... that She'll get a friend. She'll get an... uh, Send her an angel or whatever. Yeah. And um, then it goes to Stitch, and Stitch is, he's crash landed. He's, like, in the road. There's a frog. Yeah, a frog <laughs> in the road. And he's, like, he, he's got all these guns and yeah, stuff, he's and he's going to shoot it, but he just doesn't. And then a truck comes by, and it runs him over. Yeah, a couple Actually, of trucks, trucks run yeah. him over, yeah. They run him over. and Blows out all their tires. Yeah, and so <laughs> they see his his body, like, under the truck. <laughs> yeah, his corpse in there. <laughs> So he wakes up in the in the pound, mm-hmm. and all of the other dogs are in there, and they're, <laughs> they're like terrified. terrified of him. <laughs> and so he tries to escape, and as he's trying to escape, Lilo and Nani come in, yeah. Because Nani's like, "Well, maybe she should have a little friend." Yeah. So we'll I'll get, I'll get her, her a dog. dog. Yeah. So, she wants. What did she want? What kind of animal did she want? Like we don't have a blank door. We have a dog door. Oh. oh I can't remember. A lobster. A lobster. Something sturdy like a lobster. <laughs> She's like, we don't have a lobster door. We have a dog door. <laughs> so we're getting a dog. <laughs> yeah. Stitch is about to leave. He mm-hmm. like crawls across the ceiling and out the door. Yeah. And while he's out on the front porch of the of the shelter, um, he realizes that somebody's about to shoot him. Yeah. So he goes back inside. And the ones that are about to shoot him are, because we didn't really talk about this. Yeah. Dr. Jumba yeah. and Pleakley. Pleakley, of course, the guy who was like, no, the mosquitoes. Yeah. Um, so they've teamed up together. They sent the doctor because it's somebody he knows. Yeah. And so, yeah. they had to, And then Pleakley is what his name? Because he's supposed to watch him and make sure he doesn't get away or whatever. Yeah. And they promised him his 
uh, freedom if he brings a stitch back. Yes. So they're trying to catch him and take him back to the Galactic Federation. And uh, so, yeah, <laughs> he tries to, he's he's going to shoot. And, you know, Pleakley's always like, no, you can't do that. We yeah. can't use guns. <laughs> and you can't be seen because then there'll be problems because they'll yeah. think they're aliens. Yeah. So he's like, you can't shoot and you can't be seen. He's like, fine. <laughs> Stitch goes back inside, though, because he, he doesn't want to get shot. Mm-hmm. And Lilo goes to the back. And because Nani's like, go back there and pick something out for yourself. So she walks back there. None of the, she can't see, find any yeah, dogs. because the they're in the all like, Yeah, they're <laughs> hiding from Stitch. Yeah. And so Stitch sees like a poster that's like an adoption poster. Yeah. And dog hugging a kid. So he realizes I should probably look a little more like this dog. So yeah. he has six arms and he yeah. like pulls two of them inside of his body. Yeah. Which is real weird. It's real weird. And, and he, he had little he has, iron spider things on his back. Yeah. And he has little antenna and everything. Mm-hmm. So he pulls all that stuff into his body. So he yeah. looks more like a dog. Looks like a mouse dog. He's real cute. Yeah. It's pretty cute. So he runs out there so that Lilo will see him and he starts kind of wagging his little tiny mm-hmm. tail. And he hugs her. And yeah, he's like, hi. <laughs> he hugs her and she's like, wow, this is cool, you know. He can talk. <laughs> so she takes him out and she's like, this is the dog I want. And they're like, oh my God, what is that thing? We thought it was dead. He's supposed to be dead. <laughs> so he's not dead. Nope. And uh, she's like, but he can talk. And the girl, the woman at the shelter is like, dogs can't talk. And he's like, oh, I guess I shouldn't talk. <laughs> but uh, yeah. so, so they, they buy him for $2. They buy him for $2 and they get a little adoption certificate. Mm-hmm. He's been adopted officially, you know, it's yeah. official seal of the state of Hawaii and yep. everything. It's official. Yep. So Stitch oh, and she gets to name him. So she names him Stitch. Mm-hmm. Don't know why. Don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. She's but. weird. She names him Stitch. And the woman's like, that's not a dog's name. <laughs> and Nani's like, Sh- no, 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 don't say that. And she's like, in... <laughs> oh, in, in, in Finland or Yeah, something. in Finland. That was it. In Finland. But here in Hawaii, it's a good name. <laughs> and you can name your dog whatever, whatever you, want, you want, really. Like, what? who's to say what a dog's exactly. name is? Exactly. So that's about when they leave, right? And then they run into her friends on the street. Um, and they're riding their trikes. Yeah, I think so. And Lilo just, I mean, not Lilo, Stitch just straight up steals her trike. <laughs> steals <laughs> yep. that red dead girl's trike and they take off. And he's looking for a city or something. Yeah, he's looking for a large city so he's that gotta, he can destroy gotta it. destroy basically. something. And then they go just, like all these different places. Yeah. And then finally he stops and she goes, and Lilo goes, isn't it great that we live on an island with no big cities? And he's just like, no. <laughs> yeah, because he just keeps hitting oceans back and mm-hmm. forth. And all he sees is ocean. So he's <laughs> stuck in the worst spot for himself. Yeah. It's a rough go, but, you know. <laughs> so um, then they, they're they at dinner and there's like, Nani works at a restaurant. Yeah, so looks like a tourist yeah. trap restaurant yeah. thing. Yeah, and they have a friend, David, who yeah, is like... their cousin. No. Who's like <laughs> fire juggling or whatever. Yeah. and got the fire wands. Yeah. And he comes up and he says something to Nani and you were says like... cousin. He does not say cousin. <laughs> he says, how's it? But I, it sounds like cousin. Cousin. For some reason. He says, how's it, Nani? And cousin Nani. No. But anyway, that's David. Yeah. And um, also at the restaurant are Pleakley and... Uh, Dr... Demento. Jamba. Jamba. Was it Jamba? Sounds like sounds right. Oh, why can I not remember his name? I I had it written down. Anyway, so he uh dressed up in very convincing disguise. Yes, they're they're in disguise. <laughs> and of course Pleakley keeps dressing as a woman. Yeah. So it's like okay. she loves he loves those wigs, man. He does love the wigs. Yeah. And Stitch sees them, and he runs over and starts trying to eat Pleakley at one point. Well, doesn't he, like, he gets lured over by, like, a weird colored, like, chicken leg looking thing? Yeah, something like that. Like, what was that from? What Uh, animal did he get that from? I don't know. Some alien animal. It must have been something that they had with them on their ship. So he starts fighting with them, and he bites Pleakley's head. Yeah. <laughs> just in his mouth. Yeah. And so they're like, oh my God, your dog is attacking someone. Yeah. Nani ends up getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> she loses her job over it. Yeah. And David, David can set the stage on fire, but, you know, her dog bites somebody and, and she, she gets, gets fired. fired. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's messed up. <laughs> so uh, then there's 
a thing. There's there's so much stuff that I didn't write down. Well, she's so she's jobless now, and then yeah. she goes back, and the social worker shows back up again, and he's like, oh, "You, gotta you get lost a job. your job, huh?" Which again, like, whenever we'd run into families who are having trouble like that, lose mm-hmm. their job, lose their home, whatever, we would always be like, "Well, here's a bunch of resources. Here's all these things, jobs, and all that will mm-hmm. help you find all this stuff, so you can." Have everything you need. But he's like, get a job or I'm taking your kid, basically. Yeah. It's like, geez, man. <laughs> Chill. Like, she obviously wants to get a job. She's trying. Yeah. Like, and there's still a, a, a roof over her head and the kid's still eating. Yeah. And she's not, she doesn't have any marks or bruises on her. So just like, give her a break, help her out. But he's real gruff and grim. Mm-hmm. So yeah, not 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 the ideal representation. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> nobody, hopefully no social workers are actually like that. Yeah. So Nani has to try to find a new job. So yeah. she's going around to different places, and Lilo and Stitch are kind of with her. But yeah, because she can't not, leave them. Yeah, at she home. can't leave them at home. And Lilo has decided that she wants to turn. Stitch into oh cause yeah because the social worker social, told him yeah told him that the dog has to be turned into a model citizen yeah and you so, get a job mm-hmm. you be a model citizen so she's like well who is a better model citizen than Elvis yeah he so, never did anything wrong <laughs> so we're gonna turn Stitch into Elvis basically so that's where he learns to play the ukulele yeah he does all kinds of stuff like and that apparently it's an electric ukulele that doesn't need to be plugged in to be electric I guess so <laughs> I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, gets pretty good at it. Mm-hmm. I love their little dance together. So cute. Uh, I've seen that clip before, and I think it's like one of my favorite things. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> um, so they go to the beach where all of the... All of the tourists are and everything. Mm-hmm. Nani is trying to get a job as a lifeguard. Yeah. And they plug in the ukulele and it's like, this is your chance. He's, he's dressed, dressed up as Elvis. Yeah. Elvis. He's got his little jumpsuit and everything. Fat Elvis. Mm-hmm. And he goes out there to wow the crowd. Yeah. And everybody's like loving it. Yeah. And then they start taking pictures of him and he goes crazy. Yeah. So Just, he like. I don't know why that drove him crazy. I don't know. So then he like rips off his his outfit he just starts you know scaring everybody growling, growling yeah. and everything and people just run away everybody runs off the beach yeah so nani does not get the job <laughs> she does not <laughs> like dang it yeah but um then they decide well since we're here you know david shows up and he's like let's just go surfing let's just have a yeah, nice let's just day have surfing. a relaxing day so they're like okay so they go out surfing stitch of course doesn't like water yeah but he's still on the board. But he gets on the board and everything. And sometimes he's not on the board. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're surfing without him. And yeah. Sometimes he's there. It's I don't know how he transported between these things, but yeah. Well, I mean, they can go back to the beach, you know. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's what happened. So yeah, they have a nice time surfing and everything. And then uh, Jamba decides that, oh, they have they have get fired because they haven't Oh, yeah. They haven't caught him yet, so she's like, the leader or whatever is like, okay, you're fired. Um, well, they didn't you fire him yet, because that, that's when they go and grab him off the surfboard, and uh, they all go into the water. I thought they grab him off the surfboard because, oh, or maybe, I guess it is later. Yeah, they don't, they don't, he doesn't go in to kill him until they're at the house. Okay. Yeah, so, but they're all struggling under the water. Yeah, he goes, why do they go for him in the water? It makes, it's... Because, uh, I don't know, they they didn't... I guess I think he's weaker then or something, Maybe. I don't know. And they didn't notice him, I don't know. So... They almost get him. Yeah, they almost get him, but he tries to pull Lilo under the water, so they mm-hmm. think, of course, Nani thinks that he's trying to kill Lilo. Right. Much. But um, they do make it out of the water. Yeah. And David, David saves Stitch. Saves Stitch. Nobody sees the huge doctor. In the, no. So, I don't know. But um, the social worker, of course, sees everything. Of course he does. It has to be right after this that they get fired. Uh, yeah, it's pretty soon after. Because, because Captain Gantu is, she's like, you're in charge now. You go pick him up. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty soon after. Yeah. So anyway, they get fired, and she's like when they wash up onto the shore. I guess so. So she she fires them, and then Gantu gets the job, mm-hmm. and he's the one who was trying to take him to the asteroid, but did a terrible job of it. Why did she put him back in charge? I don't know. I don't know. 
So anyway, Stitch decides that he's just going to leave because he feels like he's the reason that they keep getting in trouble. Mm-hmm. So he takes, there's like a little uh, ugly duckling book. Yeah, he, he takes relates it. to the ugly duckling. So he takes the book and he just walks out and leaves. and Which hurts her feelings. Well, she's upset with him. Yeah. Why did she get upset with him? He did something. <laughs> I don't remember. Probably because she he tried. She thought he was trying to drown her or something. I don't know. No, I don't remember. I, I, I don't, don't remember her being mad at him. But yeah, he, she was. He had to. He had to get her to come around again. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, he yeah. So he he leaves. He goes to where the doctor and Bleak, Bleak, Bleakly Bleakly were, mm-hmm. and he's. He wants, he's lost. He yeah. says he's lost. So sad. Yeah, it is very sad. The little guy. And then they come in and they're going to shoot him or something. Because <laughs> they had just gotten fired at that point. Yeah. There's a part also where um, Lilo and Nani have, they're out on the hammock and she sings Aloha Oi to her. Because mm-hmm. when the social worker saw him on the beach, he was like, I'm going to take her. Oh, he's like, you got to do what's best for Lilo. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, so she's, she's like, okay, I'm going to debating it. Yeah. I'm going to give her up. Yeah. Oh, that's why she's, she's mad at him because he got all crazy and scared everybody away and yeah. cost her sister the job and yeah. all that stuff. So yeah. And yeah, that was, she threw their flowers into the wind and yeah. <laughs> carried the flowers away. But then that's when Stitch leaves. Yeah. And then the next, Next day, Nani, oh, David shows up and tells Nani, I think I can get you a job at wherever. I can't Old man's place. store. Yeah, at some <laughs> store. Like and so store. She, he's like, well, you got to come right now. And yeah. She's like, okay. So Just she runs why? off. Why? Why right now? The, the job's only available for the next five seconds. And she runs off and just leaves Lilo there. Yeah, like, why? You know the you know what's gonna happen. This happened the last time that the, she's like, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna be going long. I'll be right back. Yeah. So she leaves. And as soon as they leave, Stitch and the doctor come flying out of the jungle. The yeah. doctor's trying to shoot him. So Stitch runs inside, and Pleakley is still like, You can't shoot the little girl. <laughs> what are you doing? And they get into this huge fight. Yeah. Things are just being destroyed left you know, and right. Stuff's being thrown up. He, he drove, find, somebody finally drove that Volkswagen and it just drove it into the side of the house. No, it didn't drive it into the house. Stitch oh, oh, picks it up, it up and, and, it. and just throws it through the house, basically. <laughs> the house just gets destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> and, of course, at the very beginning, when the first time that social worker came... Oh, by the way, his name is Cobra Bubbles. Oh, yeah. But the first time that he showed up, he gave uh, Lilo his card with his number. Uh-huh. So, you know, call me if you have any problems. Yeah. And so she calls him while yeah. all this is going on. And then I love the part where she's like, oh, my dog just found the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, my gosh. He's like, what? <laughs> he's like, I'll be right there. <laughs> so he's rushing to get there. Yeah. And and everything's just going crazy. Yeah. He tries to shoot or Lila or Stitch tries to shoot him. The, uh, what's the bad? Jamba. Jamba. Okay. And he plugs it up with a carrot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so it's like building up all that energy in there. Yeah. So they're like passing it back and forth like a hot potato. <laughs> that was that was fun. Like and that. Um, meanwhile, Pleakley's like, I've got to get this little girl away. So yeah. he just picks up Lilo and runs outside <laughs> and takes her to the woods. Yeah. And um, the woods. yeah, so <laughs> so the the house just blows up, basically. Yeah. Everything is destroyed. Yeah. And then, of course, Stitch finds Lilo and... She's like, you did all of this. You've ruined everything. You know, she's real mean to him. she is. And he's like, I'm sorry. You know, (laughs) I didn't mean to. And so, um, but of course, before they can apologize or anything, they get picked up by uh, Captain Gantu. Who's like this huge shark person? Oh yeah, well the I mean the social worker was. Oh yeah, the like, social worker shows up. Okay, and and what's her name? Nani. The sister Nani. She comes back because she sees the fire trucks the, going yeah. toward her house. He's like, oh crap. Yeah. Uh, this is not good. So yeah, she gets back there right at the same time. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely taking her because. Oh, that's right. He puts her in the y- car. Your house blew up. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't put the child locks on. Yeah. You always put the child locks on. Because yeah. he just gets out and takes off. Yeah, like, that's when she finds Stitch. What are you doing, dude? So anyway, they get taken He's by... He's bad at his job, I'm just saying. Yeah, they get taken by Captain Gantu. Nani sees it, and Stitch manages to get out. Yeah. But Lilo's still stuck. 
Yeah, she's still in the little prison. Capsule kind of thing. Yeah. And Gantu just takes off. He thinks he still has Thinks he still got Stitch, but no. And of course he's like, oh, I got you. I even got you a little snack. I'm like, he's going to eat. <laughs> yeah. like, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> Nani's like, oh, where, where are they taking her? And all this stuff. She's yeah. like, I know you can talk. And he's yeah. like, okay. And she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't ready for it. <laughs> so, of course. Like, this whole time, though, I would have been terrified of Stitch. Because he does all the... I don't know how they kept him this long. Because no. he, like... Like, he gets in their fridge and, like, walks around like a person and talks. And <laughs> he gives them, like... I don't... He, he would have been really creepy. Yeah. Because he, w- he was a real jerk at the beginning. Like, mm-hmm. he's not a good guy. Yeah, he's and not. And he gets turned around, which I didn't expect. I thought he was going to be, like, cute, running away from all this stuff the whole time and maybe a little mischievous, but not just, I want to destroy a city yeah, he's, he's, kind of thing. He's got a lot of bad in him. Of course, yeah. Lilo draws, like, a picture of him and has it, like, <laughs> has a red, like, fill line, fill line yeah. all the way almost up to the top. She's like, this is... How much bad, How much bad is in you? We need to change that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, Nani's like, you've got to help me get her back. And he's like, okay, I will. Because, you know, um, I can't remember if he says Ohana means family or what. Before yeah. or after he gets captured, of course, by Jamba, yeah. who um, has them all, puts his, his, like, it's not handcuffs, but it's kind of, Yeah, you know, it's whatever. kind of future handcuffs. Manacles on him. Yeah. And is going to take him. And she's like, no, we have to get Lilo back. And so mm-hmm. he's like, okay, I'll, we'll, we'll help. So um, they go after, they go find Jamba's huge spaceship. Yeah, how? Why is it so big? How and how did he hide it? And not get noticed. Yeah. So they get into that. There's like this huge, like, chase scene and everything. Yeah. And I can't remember what all happens, except for that poor guy. Guy, that poor tourist who just wants to eat some ice cream that gets guy. his ice cream knocked out of its it's a running again. gag where his ice cream just keeps falling down on the ground <laughs> you'll never get to eat it poor guy at one point stitch stops he, he he falls to the ground like he tried to stop what's his name but mm-hmm. he got knocked off and he f- fell to the ground so to get back up he stops a gas tanker truck and drives it into a volcano <laughs> drives it into a volcano <laughs> undoes the gas and explodes it up into the, which it like if, shoots him into the air yeah onto the like perfect accuracy mm-hmm. but if he had like set off that volcano and just destroyed the village the like, whole village that yeah. would have been so messed up but <laughs> luckily that did not happen somehow i don't know uh, how don't know. but yeah he, it it worked so yeah um they managed to get lilo back and yeah. um gantu just kind of gives up like pretty easily well he gets as it like once his his thing gets destroyed his doesn't ship he get gets knocked destroyed. out at some point i don't no, because it, when it shows uh, Jamba's ship in the water, uh-huh. he's sitting on the. He's just sitting there, oh, like okay. he's completely fine. He's just like, well, I guess this is happening. Yeah. I don't know. At some point, he had to Stitch had to catch him, and he was holding on to his like cape or whatever. Yeah, on his dragon mind. So he got knocked out at some point, I guess. But at that point, he wasn't. He was just like, well, I guess this is my life now. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> What else can I do? I got no ship. Yeah, so David like has his he's out surfing when all this happens yeah. and he brings him back to shore and when he brings Stitch back to shore, the Federation is there to Yeah. David's him. very accepting that he's an alien. He's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, you you're an alien, okay?" Yeah. Cool. <laughs> he's like, "All right." Cool. <laughs> So, yeah, he gets captured by the United Galactic Federation. Yeah, and this inept squad. Yeah. So they put him back in his little cuffs. Uh-huh. And, um, they're going to take him away. Yeah, they're going to take him away. And he's, he kind of talks, and he's you can tell that he's not as, like, the destructive thing that he was before. He's changed. Yeah. He and, says he has a family. He yeah. found his family. And the leader, of course, realizes this. And she's like, but, you know, we're a stickler for the rules. rules we got to take you in. Yeah. And so um, I think it's I think it's the social worker, worker who's like, yeah. didn't you pay to pay for him? Yeah. 
And Leela's like, yeah, I did. So she pulls out the adoption paper. She and she's like, I paid. Hand. <laughs> yeah, at all times, apparently. So she's like, I paid $2 for him. So if you take him, that's stealing. <laughs> so she's like, okay, well, I guess you have to stay here. So they yeah. just basically exile him to Earth. This is your new exile spot. Yeah. And since he's part of a family now, then they can't tear that family apart either. Mm-hmm. So says so they're under our protection now. Mm-hmm. And we'll be checking up on him. Yep. <laughs> and we find out that Cobra Bubbles. Bubbles was in the CIA mm-hmm. and he worked at Roswell whenever the first alien ship came. Well, it wasn't the first alien ship because that was in the 40s, but for, he was a, like in, this, in 1978 or something like that. Yeah. Like, okay. He knew all about it. Yeah, because like, she's like, I knew oh, you yeah. looked familiar. <laughs> you had more hair back then. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. But now they're all protected by the Federation. Uh-huh. Stitch gets to stay. And apparently Jamba and Polikli get to stay, too. Because yeah, they just need to hang out. <laughs> Whatever. Because they're just hanging out. They rebuild the the house. Yeah, luckily. Mm-hmm. Out of the spaceship, I guess. I guess so. Just all the parts from it. And then they're... I guess they're not planning on leaving. I guess not. And then there are a bunch of little photos and stuff of them. Mm-hmm. And so there are like there are photos of all of them just hanging out, doing different things. There's one photo that has Jamba and Pleakley and Stitch and Lilo and Cobra Bubbles, and there it looks like they're all just sitting watching TV together or something. It's really <laughs> weird. It's like when did he become part of the family? But he's got to he's got to check he's in on the on family. Him. Yeah, uh, they, maybe they have Christmas together. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and then, of course, it ends. The last one that it shows is, well, one of the last ones. It shows David and Nani and Lilo and Stitch, and they're all in front of the gates of Graceland. Uh-huh. Because you were like, wow, did they buy that house? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought they had, I thought they had gotten a new house, and I was like, oh, wait, it's Graceland. And then it shows Graceland <laughs> under it. It's like, oh, wait, never mind. It's like, did they get rich somehow? <laughs> <laughs> Where, what's that story? But the last picture, I think, is there's a picture that uh, Lilo keeps that is of her whole family, of Mm -hmm. her mom and her dad and Nani and her. And after the house explodes, it's kind of, it's, Stitch finds it. But the corners get burnt and everything. But there's also, like, it's, you can see it's on a wall and underneath it is a picture of Stitch. And Mm -hmm. he's, like, at the bottom. So it looks like he's part of the family. Yep. (laughs) It was really cute. (laughs) We also didn't mention uh, Lilo's collection of butt pics. (laughs) What was that about? Well, it wasn't just butt pics. It it was just tourists. Just tourists. But it was okay. like all the really fat tourists with like... It was a lot of butts, Their though. farmer tans and yeah. everything, and it was a lot of butts. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, Lilo... Such a weird thing to put in this. You're so strange. She's a weird kid. Man. She is a weird kid, but I like her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was a very charming little movie. I, mm-hmm. I liked it. It was different than I thought it'd be. I didn't really know what to think about it, honestly. So Yeah. Uh, I'm glad. Glad it was good. Uh, I liked it, which makes me not want to watch the rest of these <laughs> Go out on a high. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know where it ranks really for me in mm-hmm. my, like, Disney pantheon. But, you know, I would say it's upper middle, maybe. Okay. Because I got a lot of like, it's not going to be the first one I go back to, but yeah. it's not going to be the last. Yeah. Was it as good as you remember? Um, I mean, it was the same as I remember, so <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess. Didn't get worse. That's good. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> didn't get troubled by anything. No. Nope. Yeah. So, what do, you, what do you do for a snack? What do you eat when you're in Hawaii? Yeah. I thought of another thing that we could have done, but... Poi? <laughs> no, because no. that we would have to make poi, and I don't know how to make poi. <laughs> no, I thought about the... Um, we the, thought about spam first. We did think about spam, mm-hmm. but we also thought about... Or we thought... I thought about... Um, oh. They have those, uh, like, it's chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. Oh, yeah. Those would have been good. I don't know if you're allergic to macadamia no. nuts. Okay. So I thought about those yeah. this morning. I was like, oh, we could have done that. Because yeah. <laughs> I know they have them at like uh, World Market because I've oh, seen them okay. in there before. Well, it works out because we had the quintessential Hawaiian well, food item. Well, I was going to say there are also cocktails we could have done. True. Because we could have had a blue Hawaiian or we could have had a Mai Tai. In, in honor of Elvis. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of stuff we could have had. But, but instead, instead. <laughs> we picked the most controversial pick That's That's true. Possible. It is pretty controversial. We had pineapple on pizza. We had Hawaiian pizza. Yes. We had ham and pineapple pizza. 
Yes, even though I'm pretty sure Hawaiian pizza was not created in Hawaii. Probably I think not. it was created in Canada. <laughs> that sounds good. But yeah. Canadians know what they're doing. Ham and pineapple. So are you, uh, which side are you on? Do you like the pineapple on pizza or are you against it? Okay, so I'm going to say this. Okay. There is a huge debate whether mm-hmm. or not you should put pineapple on pizza. Yes. And my thing is... If you like it, mm-hmm. then put it on there yeah. and eat it. And don't yeah. let anybody tell you that it's wrong. It's true. Because yep. let people, and then the people who are like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> let people enjoy things that they like. If it's not yeah. hurting anybody, exactly. let them eat it. So yep. I'm for it. I am all for it. Me too. It's I, good. I, I I love pineapple on pizza. I like, I like it with a lot of different things. I usually like it with like onions and Jalapenos get a little spice and mm. sweet. Okay, and I don't good. want the jalapenos, but yeah. I was going to say, like, you could put it with, and if you didn't want ham, you could put it with pepperoni, mm-hmm. put it with some onions. Yep. That sounds pretty good. It is very good. So. So, the, it's 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 a great little addition. It's good. It's different. It's a nice it's little, a little sweet. hint of sweetness. Mm-hmm. It doesn't detract from anything else. Yep. That's right. And especially if you're eating it with the ham, because that ham is salty, so you've got the salty mm-hmm. sweet. Salty sweet. Mm. So good. It's real good. I don't yeah. know why people just hate on people just, who eat pineapple you know, people, on pizza. They just, they don't have anything else to do. I guess so. This is their big cause. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're cool going against pineapple, but you're not. Pineapple's good. So, yeah, we're not eating it right now during no, the yeah. the recording because we already ate it for yeah, lunch. <laughs> we ate it at dinner and lunch, so we've had two opportunities to give it a try. Good both times. Yeah. It's great. And, I mean, I've had it plenty of times before oh, yeah. this, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's so good. I think the first time I got it was maybe in college. I okay. don't remember getting it before then. And yeah. it was like, oh, got to try pineapple. Yeah, I don't remember Ooh. the first time i had it but you don't remember your first time with pineapple with pineapple pe- pizza? On pizza no i don't i don't it was a life-changing experience because apparently i was just like oh yeah this is good and yeah, then <laughs> this is a topping <laughs> <laughs> it's like i would rather have this than you know mushrooms or oh i like mushrooms i don't like i don't like a lot of toppings so for yeah. me to like pineapple on pizza it's a big thing we gotta find whatever we can for you exactly because <laughs> people will get it, it's so funny trying to get a pizza that I like. Because mm-hmm. usually if I go to a place, I'm like, just give me pepperoni. I'm fine. Yeah. Pepperoni, that's like my usual go-to. I like pepperoni and black olives. Mm-hmm. That's my that's my choice, my favorite. Yeah. Um, but if you want to throw some onions on there, I'm fine with that. If you want to throw some sausage on there, I'm fine with that. Canadian bacon, ham, whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't care. That sounds good. Yeah. But then when you start throwing mushrooms and green peppers <laughs> or bell peppers on there, I'm like, mm, no. Yeah, I have to get that on my own pizza <laughs> i'm like no but the thing is if you put it on there i can pick it off yeah because people are like well i know you don't like this <laughs> on your pizza so i'm not gonna order it. i'm gonna order all this it's like just just put it on there i can pick it off i've done it many times before it's, it's not true. a big deal yeah it's <laughs> true if i don't want it i'll just pick it off <laughs> yeah but that does also take up room where other toppings could have been true so you do get kind of you know <laughs> you miss out on topping space i mean i could just eat a cheese pizza and be completely fine with it so it's, true. it's not like i have to have all the toppings yeah i'm so disappointed in cheese pizza though it's good <laughs> you know but it just feels like i feel like i should have more I don't know. I'd never go for cheese pizza by itself. Yeah, I very rarely would go for a cheese pizza. I'm never like, I'm going to order a cheese pizza today. Now, if I were somewhere and it was like a pizza party or something, Uh and my choices, they didn't, for some reason, they were like, no, we're not going to get just pepperoni. We're going to get cheese and we're going to get supreme. We're just going (laughs) to get everything. Cheese and everything. I would probably go for the cheese because I'd be like, well, I I don't have to pick anything off of that. (laughs) It's just be a lot easier. Especially if I'm really hungry because I'm like, look, I could either sit here (laughs) and pick every and pick like all of these other things off. Yeah. Or I can just grab some cheese pizza and shove it straight Mm -hmm. into my mouth right now. (laughs) So I'm probably gonna choose the cheese pizza. Yeah. That's fair. (laughs) But yeah. So what are you rating pineapple on pizza? Pineapple on pizza. I'm going to give it, mm, I think I'm going to give it an eight because I mm-hmm. really like pizza. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite foods. Yeah. I'm, and pineapple on it is pretty good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving it a nine. Nice. I really like it. Okay. It's not my favorite type, but it's, yeah. it's really close. I do like it on there. 
Yeah. If I can go crazy with toppings, I'll usually include pineapple. <laughs> just, if, just go crazy. Just put whatever on there. Okay. So, yeah. So... It's been decided. Pineapple's okay on pizza. We can end the debate. Nobody needs to argue about it anymore. We've, <laughs> we've taken care of it all. So yep, there you go. You're welcome, world. Mm-hmm. You, you know, we, we, we're here to help. That's what we do. Now, the next debate is, do you pronounce it Hawaii or Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay. Because I did, never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> so... What's your stance on pineapple on pizza? Mm-hmm. Be cool, but let us know on Twitter. <laughs> Be cool about it. <laughs> at Having Fun Cast. Well, let's not fight about it. Yeah. Or on Facebook at Having Fun Pod. Or you can send us an email at havingfunpod at gmail.com. <laughs> I almost forgot it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And also check out our YouTube channel where you can listen to these episodes mm-hmm. or watch our snack videos, which... Hopefully we'll have another one soon. I don't know and, when. Oh yeah, that's true. We had a little issue with shipping. Yeah, I don't know what happened because I mean this is our fourth box. Yeah. And for some reason it was like we had a problem with your address. I'm like it's the exact same. And I haven't changed it. Nothing's changed. I don't know why. It's like did part of the label get torn off or something? Because that's not my fault. Yeah. That's annoying. I don't know. So we'll see. But check us out over there. We're Mm -hmm. having fun podcasts. Is that right? We're having fun podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. Check us out. Give us a like. Follow us. We'd appreciate it. Yeah. But until then, go out and get you some pizza. Mm -hmm. Go have fun. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.